Hey guys, this is Heather with Stealing Hearts Homestead. I'm off grid here in Arizona. So this morning I am going to milk one of my goats. This is gonna be my fourth day milking her and I'm definitely getting better. It was a real challenge the first time I had to ask my neighbor how to do it. So I'm getting better and she's already staring at me. Where are my treats? Are you going to milk me this morning? That's what she's asking. I really need to get a milking stand. <laughs> because Fanny wants to get in here all the time and it's not your grain. Okay. Got her set up. So I found when she's really folded, I have a hard time wrapping my hand around. But I'm getting a lot better at it. Pay attention to where the milk's going. Can't find my phone stand for some reason. But this gives you an idea of what I'm dealing with. Alright, so I have my nut butter cloth on top. It stops any debris from falling in, like hair on her after I wipe her down with a washcloth. So I'm also gonna use this as straining again to put into the quart jars that I have. All right, so as you can see, she gave us quite a bit of milk. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in these two quart jars and put them right in the refrigerator. It's important to cool this as soon as possible. So I'm gonna get that done. So make a nice little indent here with the cheesecloth into the mason jar and then I pour the milk over the top of it so it can catch any debris that might still be in the milk. So this is the end product. As you can see, I almost have a second full quart jar. Um, and one full one. So she gives me quite a bit of milk. I'm glad that I only have one girl in milk right now because I don't know what I would do with four quarts of milk a day. Um, but finding uses for it right now is just being two. So it's working out. All right, so that morning tour is done. Uh, I just fed the puppies. So the puppies are taken care of. I'm gonna put my boots on. And everybody's going to go for a walk this morning around the property now that we have the property lines cleared. Um, so I'm going to go do that because everybody's feeling very, very hyper right now. <laughs> some cool stuff going on at the front of the property as you can see I have a double gate put in um, and it's getting closer to the edges um, the three posts down there where the corner is and it's gonna go that way <laughs> but it's very exciting so I'm paying my neighbors to do this um, thank God for good neighbors because this would take me forever to do um, and it would look terrible. <laughs> I've learned that I am not good at fencing so I'm more than happy to pay somebody to do it for me and I love having a gate. I'm really going to love having this front part fenced off and these two front lines done um, so that way the dogs can't get out into the cul-de-sac. 